Uh, how much time, Eggy, are you prospecting every day? How many prospects are you talking with? And how many leads are you able to generate maybe on a daily basis? Can you guys kind of give us some of the stats? Let's talk about your first hire, which was Eggy. Um, <laughs> Eggy, welcome to the show. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, I love being here, Brendan. I'm not going to lie about that. I love it. I love it. So I'm looking forward to having some good conversation with you. So why don't you take a second and, and talk about what you do for the team and the type of work that you do? Okay, yeah. So first of all, I started as a VA with Valbona, as Valbona was saying. I was a cold caller, and that's what I've been doing from the beginning. And I mean, I basically learned a lot from you, Brendan, from the Facebook group, from the YouTube channel. Those were the most helpful ones. And I could say that I did some uh, scripting practice as well, like just writing down scripts for days, for weeks, for months, until, you know, <laughs> until I got the, you know, the, the idea of the scripts. I learned them by heart. That was the point. And I mean, pretty much like I love how is it going here as well on Florida. And, you know, this feels natural now. It doesn't like feel anymore like a work. It's just more about passion, to be honest with you. I love it. So, so I want to stay here for right for, for just a second. And then, and then Cindy, we're going to bring you in in just a second too, but I want to talk about you came into Valbona's team doing what some people think is like the hardest work, which is making outbound prospecting phone calls. What was your mindset in the beginning? And then we'll fast forward and kind of talk about where you're at today because I remember practicing with you when you first got started, you know? And um, so, so what was it like in the beginning? And then we'll kind of unpack what things look like today. All right. So yeah, in the beginning, I felt like this was just a casual work. I have to say some scripts and people are just going to agree to that. That was the first impression. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, a month or two, I think in the, you know, in the cold calling, I learned that that's not what you got to do. You just got to be an agent, understand people, understand their needs, and then they give them the solution for that need. Like, that's what I got the most. But in the beginning, it was just like, I'm just working, okay? I'm just getting some money, and hopefully I'm going to sell or something. Yeah. But it, things advance real fast. So, so going back to the beginning, you know, was it, was, did you find yourself like, man, this is really difficult. I don't know if I can do this. Did you start having doubts? Like walk us through that a little bit. All right. So yeah, in the beginning on my first phone call, I mean, the one, the first conversation that I had, I thought that he was going to say, okay, come and listen, uh, list the property. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go as planned. Nope. It didn't go yeah. as planned. I forgot the script that the first phone call, it was hurtful. I'm not yeah. going to lie. And then I think that was helpful as well, because from there, I just went into practicing scripts, listening to videos every single day. And, you know, just, just kept on repetition. I love that process because it grew me from my mindset first and my skills as an agent, because I, as I was telling you, this is passion right now, but it was hurtful in the beginning. I'm not going to lie about that. So, and we're going to talk about Valbona, what you're doing yeah. to work with, with Aggie. Exactly. Just, yeah. We're going to talk yeah. about that in one second. I just want to, because that period of time is what people go through when they start in real estate sales is like, they start to pick up the phone and it's a very difficult thing in the beginning if you have no sales background. So Aggie, I want to go back to you for just a second. I want to talk yeah. about, you said something very interesting. You said that you practiced and you worked on your skills a lot. And so- what advice would you give knowing what you know now? Because I talk about this all the time. I talk about the learning is in the doing. So many people want to skip over the part of like being bad at something and they just want to study, 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 and then automatically be good at it. And it doesn't work like that. Like you have to suck in the beginning. You're going to be awful in the beginning. And so let's <laughs> talk about like, what advice would you give Eggie to somebody that's starting off in sales or in real estate sales? Uh, what advice would you give them on how they can get past that fear of calling in the beginning? Well, to be honest with you, the first, I would bring this into steps. So the first thing that I did to get good at this was learning the scripts by heart. That was the first thing. And, you know, keeping the scripts in front of you, you sound like a robot. It doesn't sound good. And, you know, people don't like that. And the second thing that I did is that every time before I did a phone call, I counted to three, just like breathing and exhaling exercise. And you know, man, when you do get into that first conversation, your con your confidence just boosts up. That's yeah. something that I lived. And the moment that I had a full script with somebody, I just loved myself. I was like, okay, I'm going to be the greatest salesperson ever. I and love that's, that. That's how you get into that. 
And it took time, right? Like you just, you didn't it master this time. from the beginning. It takes some time. So Valbona, can you walk yes. us through when you hired Eggie, what were, tell us about the work that you would do with him so that he could develop these skills. So uh, when I hired Eggie, it wasn't something that I hired him today and the next week he was ready to go. That's right. So we would stay on this. Yeah. We would stay in the, the Zoom together and he was doing the phone calls and I'm listening to him like, like we are talking right now. And at the end of the phone call, I would tell him, so you handled this, the first objection, great. So next time, or when I see something, it's not right. I just advise him right away. So teaching him and um, training him in the, in the real time. Um, it took us, so I remember very well the, the first uh, uh, feasible that he got. I mean, he made the appointment and I went and did the listening uh, presentation. Yeah. And so I got the, the FISBO agreed to list. And was, that was a, a lady and was Aegis Furphy's first FISBO. So that was really, really, I mean, a happiness for me and for him. This is a time when he really become confident that, oh, okay, I can do that because we got, and the, there are the results there. But it took us uh, three to four months to do, the, to do that. In addition, since the moment I hired him. Um, also, uh, except that we were staying in the Zoom, I see a YouTube video that is good for the mindset. I just send it to him. Iggy, please listen to this before you start doing the phone calls today. And we are doing role play together. So it's a process that takes time. It's not going to happen like as soon as you hire a VA, so everything is fine. Yeah, and that's it's, what- It takes time. And you're exactly right. And that's what I wanted to spend a little bit of time on because you're exactly right. So what happens is a real estate agent will say, okay, I want a VA like Eggy. I want somebody to help me prospect and generate top of funnel leads in my business. They go and hire somebody not understanding what you're saying, Balbona, that it's going to take time and investment from a training and coaching standpoint into the person. They want to hire yeah. somebody and they want that person automatically to start pouring to value perfect. into the business. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. How much happen. time were you spending with Eggy maybe on a daily, weekly basis? It wasn't like you hired him and he was just a rock star from day one, yeah. was it? Absolutely. So the first, I'm telling you, we keep still doing that. He makes phone calls and we are in the Zoom. Every now day? He, every day, but now wow, he's a little bit more independent. You sure. know, So we are not in the Zoom like he's doing. I said, when you have a difficulty, unmute yourself because I have work to do as well. So I listen. Uh, I listened to him and I said, okay, you did great. Exa for example, today, so he sent me a screenshot of a text message that he sent to a lead. And I called him and I said, I love it. He said to the guy, because we've been following up with him for a while. And he said, like this, if you want to work with me, so we have to talk about the property. If you do not like to work together, just let me know because I don't want to bother you. So, yeah. and I, I, yeah, I said, this is excellent. So now he's a little bit more independent and I don't stay with him like four hours calling right together you know so in the beginning let me just i want to clarify yeah. in the beginning it was, were you spending four hours a day because here's what a i day. want people to get a day yeah. because a i day. want people to hear because i'm I, I live this every day in coaching agents they want to hire somebody like eggy they don't want to do any of the work they just no, want all all no. the benefit so you were spending four hours a day yeah. every day for four months in the beginning is yeah. that how it was yes yes wow. from monday to friday we we do phone calls i mean still uh every other saturday and oh, so yeah we we do this and this is how we got all these leads because it's a lot of work and uh, at the beginning so Eggy was starting with the phone calls where i see that we because you know when you hire someone there is a setback it's slowed down in the business it's called and the I rubber would, band effect i just wrote correct. it down just now you yeah. have to go back to go forward to forward yeah and then uh, so i would take the phone and i would start doing some phone calls myself i make a listening appointment so just not not let the the Aggie completely and actually so during the time i hired him i did two uh, listings but they came from me not from him yeah. but i never give, gave up on him so said we are gonna get there we are gonna get there That's and great. i mean he knows we we trained a lot with your videos every material that you say um 
I gave him access on the Facebook and he reads whatever other member writes there. And he says, oh, I like what he did. I like the, this replier because objections, we know the main ones, but there are sometimes the things that we do not know yeah. any objections. And this is how we learn. So that's phenomenal. Now, let's talk about a little bit about some of the results that you and Aggie are getting from a lead generation standpoint, like in a given month or a given week or a day, however you want to help us out. Like how many, uh, how much time, Aggie, are you prospecting every day? How many prospects are you talking with? And how many leads are you able to generate maybe on a daily basis? Can you guys kind of give us some of the stats? Well, I mean, yeah. So we work for like four to five or six hours. I mean, that's okay. how much effort we put. And we do usually work on the weekends as well. And Brendan, the goal is to get, for me at least, you know, the goal is to get two listing appointments per day. That's awesome. And so yeah. in that, when you work four to six hours, how many conversations, contacts are you making roughly on average every day? I would say up to 20. I mean, there are good days where I can make 25, 30 yeah. and those six to four hours. But mostly it's like 20, 15, something like that, but usually stands at 20. And I do manage to get, um, I could say the best day would be two listing appointments per day or three. There was even days like that. So under 20 conversations. So this is incredible that. conversion. I mean, this goes to show, Peggy, <laughs> how good your skills, how good you're becoming at this. And what this meaning phone sales. It's like the greatest skill. And I think I told that to your team, Balboa, at one time. Yeah. I said, the greatest skill you could have is being able to sell over the phone because you'll never have to worry about money ever again. So Eggie's able to have about 20 conversations per day and set two listing appointments per day. That's a one to 10 ratio. I mean, this is incredible. Usually it takes people four or five years to get to this level of conversion. Uh, yeah. Eggie, you've been able to do this in what, six months? Is that right? No, it's been over six months now. I think like over a year. If I'm oh, about a year. Okay. Yeah, so about yeah. a year, which Seven is- eight months. Yeah. Eight yeah, months that, like that. That's phenomenal.